Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium, and today on the Crimson Engine, we are looking at producers. What do they do? Who are they? How do you become one? How do you get rid of one? Most people who don't work in film kind of understand what a director does. They see pictures of directors doing this, or pictures of directors doing this, and they sort of understand that that's the person creatively responsible for the film. But they don't really get what the producer's role is in a film, where they are in the hierarchy of the film, what their responsibilities are, and why there are so many different types of producers. The first person we're gonna talk about is the producer themselves, sometimes called the producer producer to differentiate them from the executive producer, associate producer, co-producer, line producer, and so on. This is the person responsible for the film financially and logistically, as opposed to the director who's responsible for the film creatively. Now, more often than not, the producer is the one that hires the director. So the producer might be the one that wants to make a movie that has the money to make a film, that's raised the money to make a film. Then they have optioned the rights to a story of a book, then commissioned a screenwriter to adapt that um, book into a screenplay then they've looked around and hired um, the director that they think is the best fit with the um, story that they want to tell then they are there to help the director achieve their vision um, and by help I mean make the director achieve their vision because the producer is the one who's ass is on the line essentially um, should the film fail and who stands to make a lot of money should the film succeed Sometimes the main producer is called the creative producer. They're the ones that gather all the elements that make the film happen. And in the hierarchy of a film, they're pretty much at the top. They're the ones that, that hires the director. And if the director is not doing what the producer wants, they're the ones that fires the director and replaces the director. Now, very seldom do producers put their own money into films. Never put your own money in the show. And two, never put your own money in the show. They hire, they raise the capital to produce the film um, from various sources. It could be the studio, it could be private investors, it could be the stock market, um, it could be venture capital firms or hedge funds, it could be anyone that has money that wants to make more money. And that brings us to the second main type of producer, the executive producer. If you've in, taken the risk and invested your money in making a film, you probably want your name on it. And if the producer won't give you a full producer credit, um, there's a thing called the executive producer, which could be the person that pays for the film, but more often than not, it's the person that facilitated the film getting made. So either if they didn't directly invest in it, they brought the project to the person that did give them the money or they championed the film in a different way. You often see famous directors being executive producers on other people's projects like Steven Spielberg executively produced uh, trans the Transformer movies. I don't know anything about that particular process, but he probably made a few calls and like um, vouched for Michael Bay and the project to the studio that ended up getting it made. He walked away with, you know, tens of millions of dollars because without his name on the film, it probably wouldn't have got made. Without him vouching for the film, without him um, investing his name in the film, it wouldn't have got made. And that's what makes an executive producer. As you can probably tell, there is a big fight about who gets to be a producer and who doesn't get to be a producer. And the PGA, the Producers Guild of America, introduced new guidelines uh, where to get, they couldn't stop um, non-producers, meaning people that were just um, financiers or studio executives putting their name on the film as producers. So what they did, it was introduce this thing called the PGA title. And you may see it in the last couple of years, it popping up on film credits. And to get it, you need to be on, physically on set for like 80% of the shoot day. It's not as though you can sit in your office, write a check, and then get your name put on the film as a producer. To get those, you can, but to get those PGA letters after your name, you physically need to come to set for 80% of the shoot days and be there. Now, very often, um, big, powerful Hollywood directors 
are producers on their own films. This is because the producer, not the director, makes financial decisions about where to allocate money, how much to pay people. That's not the director's job. But if the director wants to have total creative freedom, if they want to, you know, build giant sets if they want to, or they want to be able to um, make offers to whatever cast they want, regardless of cost, they actually also need to be producer on the film so that they're in those meetings and they have the right to allocate money. Um, so, you know, you'll see Ridley Scott, James Cameron, um, Christopher Nolan, you know, those kind of guys also serving as producers on their own films. One step down from the producer producer is the co-producer now this is someone who serves a producer function but in a junior sense they may um they may have helped uh, they may have made calls like the executive producer um they have made got the film uh, helped the film get made or they may be physically on set doing things um like a producer would weren't as much part of the uh, essential financial creative team as um, the main producers. So there's a credit called co-producer, which you can give to these people um, that's between producer and associate producer. Associate producer is a much smaller credit. It's sort of given to people that um, almost as a gratitude. It's like, this is where you, uh, on Kickstarter, you find the 200 um, backers uh, that contributed to the film or get associate producer credits. It's, it's a small credit. People in Hollywood know that it doesn't actually mean that much unless you're the one getting it in which case it means a lot um i've even heard of people that were actually assistants on the film um or served in smaller roles who really gave everything to the movie and helped it get made because they were just there every day and ready to work the producer turned around and made them associate producers um to, to say thank you for their hard work and there's no limit to how many associate producer credits you can put on a movie now we get to the the rubber meeting the road which is the line producer the line producer doesn't um, is also interchangeable with the unit production manager and this is the person who's on set cracking the whip making sure that we uh, the film unit makes its days making getting everybody paid negotiating salaries it's sometimes referred to as legwork and the producer will hire a line producer um, so that they don't have to do all this nitty-gritty sort of nuts and bolts stuff so that there's someone out there to ultimately who the crew or the cast go to if they have an issue so that the producer can be looking at the big picture. This is the line producer. Uh, I hope that makes things clear. Um, this is by no means uh, gospel. You know, different people have, you know, when the reason that it's so hard to know exactly who's in charge of a set or who's, um, who has the power on a film is that these credits are very fluid and, you know, an associate producer can be wielding, it can actually be the person wielding all the power. You never know. It's a pretty good bet that the producer on a film or a TV show will know uh, where the money's coming from and to be the ones responsible for spending it to get the product that they want at the end, to sell it and recoup those profits. All the director wants to do is create a, a great film. What the producer wants to do is make sure that that film makes money. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.